On this episode of Esto es PGA Tu Latinoamérica, things kick off in Lima, Peru for the Diners Club Peru Open presentado por Volvo, where we join Marcelo Rosso on a tour of Lima City Center. Yo creo que lo principal es la comida. Soy un fanático de los restaurantes y el buen comer. And then... I was playing good golf before and I just kept thinking well and playing well. We're taking a look at last year's Order of Merit winner, Harry Higgs, whose success continues to grow at the next level of competition. And later... I saw the speedometer on there and it only went up to 200 and it was doing this. PGA Tour Latino America players are burning rubber with the professionals at the Autódromo Termas de Rio Hondo. Before a champion is crowned at the Termas de Rio Hondo Invitational, we've got all the action right now. Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. Excitement was bubbling as Los Incas Golf Club prepared for the start of the Diners Club Peru Open presentado por Volvo in Lima, Peru. I've never seen the course in this good a shape. I mean, again, I've only been here two years, but it's very green. Looking forward to playing golf. The Diners Club Peru Open was also the final event for players to move inside the top 10 on the order of merit and earn exemption into the final stage of the Corn Ferry Tour qualifying tournament. This meant that they would secure status at the next level. Playing just over 6,800 yards, the par 72 Los Incas Golf Club presented a tough challenge. I think it's very important to play the fairway here. The rafts are not that difficult, but it's difficult. The ball is strong in general, and as the rafts are a little hard, it's going to be crucial to play the fairway to be able to control the effect and to be more aggressive with the banders. However, one player wasn't too worried about the greens as he stepped off the course to explore Peru's capital city. Hola amigos del PGA Tour Latinoamérica, soy Marcelo Rosso y hoy estoy aquí para jugar el Diners Club Peru Open presentado por Volvo, pero antes quiero invitarlos a que me acompañen a dar una vuelta por Lima. Vámonos. Que hace especial para mí el, el, el torneo aquí en Perú. Yo creo que lo principal es la comida. Soy un fanático de los restaurantes y el buen comer. Y, así que me llama mucho la atención y llegar aquí es fácil. El campo, la gente, el club nos trata muy bien y, y la verdad que sí se ha vuelto un torneo. Yo creo que no solo para mí, sino para todos los jugadores que, que han ascendido. Eh, atractivo. Volvemos porque nos gusta, como digo. Cuando yo vengo a Lima tengo unos lugares, eh, digamos, que, que no pueden faltar. Te hago siempre, siempre un tour de, de comida, pero la verdad que es especial. Los sabores eh, lo, lo, lo llevaron a otros sitios y le recuerdan, digamos, años pasados, estando acá en Lima, la primera vez que uno vino, con quién estuvo, dónde fue, así que, que es algo interesante. Esta semana vine con mi papá, lo cual lo hace mucho más especial. Vengo, digamos, eh, preparando la pretemporada. Voy a hacer unas cosas que, que estoy trabajando con mi equipo de trabajo. Y, y ver cómo nos sale. Ver jugadores de, del PGA Tour Latinoamérica que estuvieron con uno hace 4, 5 años, 3 años, 2 años, ya ganando el PGA Tour te da, yo creo que, que más que orgullo, te abre los ojos y te da ganas para seguir trabajando más fuerte y saber que sí es posible. Nunca había estado en la Plaza de Armas aquí, espectacular, me quedé impresionado con todas las artesanías, eh, la gente, ve uno mucho turista y esto es espectacular, eh, la verdad que siete años como dices que yo viniendo aquí no había venido, se da cuenta que una vez solo se, se enfoca mucho en el golf y en los restaurantes para mí, pero les aconsejo obviamente a todos los que estén viendo la entrevista que, que se den una vuelta por acá. After the break. Out of thousands of golf shots I hit this year, one of them was the difference. We're taking a walk down memory lane with last year's champion Harry Higgs and how that victory propelled him all the way to the PGA Tour. And later, the Diners Club Peru Open presentado por Volvo is swinging into high gear as players look to find their moment in the winner's circle. All that and more when Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica returns.
Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. The 2018 PGA Tour Latinoamérica season was the start of a remarkable journey for Harry Hicks, and he's the star of this week's playback. He won the Diners Club Peru Open presentado por Lexus and finished above everyone else in the race for the Order of Merit. Last season, Hicks finished with seven top tens, but it was his victory in Peru, plus a T4 finish at the Shell Championship, that propelled him to the top of the Order of Merit by a mere $64, resulting in full Corn Ferry status. I mean, $64, that was it. It's probably out of thousands of golf shots I hit this year that one of them was the difference. But had it been one less, I don't think I would have won. It was this mentality that led Hicks to success at the next level, resulting in five top 10 finishes, with top five finishes at the KC Golf Classic and the TPC Colorado Championship. Already in prime position to earn his PGA Tour card, Hicks officially secured his destiny with a breakout performance at the Price Cutter Charity Championship presented by Dr. Pepper, winning the biggest tournament of his life by two shots against Steve Wheatcroft and Martin Flores. It was just kind of a steady progression to that point, and I felt like it was there. Looking back on it, it wasn't really anything different. I was playing good golf before, and I just kept thinking well and playing well. His efforts ultimately led to a fifth place finish on the regular season money list and full status on the PGA Tour. And that was the goal all along. I wake up and do everything every day with that goal in mind. You know, it was your little kid and you're practicing and playing. I want to play the PGA Tour like everybody does. And so few people actually get to get to that point. So it's just cool to see my belief in myself kind of actually come to fruition. This time last year, Hicks was on his way to finishing first on the PGA Tour Latinoamerica Order of Merit. Just a year later, he finds himself competing on the PGA Tour against the best players in the world. When the final round of the Diners Club Peru Open presentado por Volvo began, Leandro Marelli trailed four players and the overall lead by five strokes. With Justin Sa and Andres Gallegos both performing at high levels, the probability of a comeback win for Marelli seemed unlikely. But the odds quickly shifted back in the Argentinian's favor. With an impressive final round, five under 67, Marelli clinched his first PGA Tour Latinoamerica title by one stroke. Historically, Los Incas Golf Club has not been very kind to Marelli, but sometimes in golf, it just happens to be your week. La verdad que sí fue mi semana, porque todo lo demás años creo que hace como nueve años que vengo acá nunca me había ido bien, siempre peleando el corte. Y la verdad que esta semana me sentí muy cómodo, pegué muy bien y, y bueno, eh, super aguantar la presión y, y aprovechar los momentos. Marelli fought his way back into contention with three front nine birdies, making the turn just two shots off the lead. His steady play continued after the turn, and birdies on holes 10 and 11 put him in prime position heading to the 18th tee. After reaching the green in regulation, Marelli finished the round in style, draining a clutch 15-foot birdie putt to move to 19 under, securing the solo lead for good. John Summers had a late chance to force a playoff, but his birdie putt at the last missed just wide right, resulting in victory for Marelli. Me tiro a pelear el título, después no pude aprovechar el 14, el medio del foro me par 5, hice 5 y después la tiré al agua en el 15. La verdad que eh, se, me, se me llenó un poco la cabeza de preguntas, pero bueno, sabía que era largo, sabía que el, que el final acá es cerrado, que es difícil, con el 17 y el 18, así que no bajé los brazos y por suerte pude hacer ver el 18. It's been a long journey for Marelli. The win is his first in 98 career starts since joining PGA Tour Latinoamérica in 2012. It's a vindicating moment after years of persistence and dedication. Una satisfacción enorme por todo el trabajo que venimos realizando, por los años de aguante, que es un deporte difícil y de mucho trabajo, así que mucha satisfacción y mucha felicidad. With the win, Marelli jumps to fifth place in the order of merit, holding a mere $696 over Shad Tutton. He looked to continue his strong play in the final events of the year in order to maintain his top five position which would ultimately result in Corn Ferry Tour status next year. 
Next on Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica, our bags are packed as we head to Argentina. And it's off to the races for four daring players. The best part was ripping out in that beast and doing two laps. I think I'm still a little shaky. Will they hand in their clubs for life in the fast lane? Find out after the break. Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. PGA Tour Latinoamérica landed in Argentina for a three-week stretch that kicked off with a new event at the Termas de Rio on the Invitational. Although the Termas de Rio on the Golf Club has been part of the Dev Series in Argentina for a couple of years, this marks its first year as part of the PGA Tour Latinoamérica lineup. Bueno, la cancha está muy linda, como siempre. Eh, la verdad que está un poquito más dura. Creo que va a haber muy buenos scores como, como estamos acostumbrados a, a ver en esta cancha. Designed by Robert Trent Jones Jr., the course spans over 7,400 yards. Its wide fairways, combined with testy winds, tests players off the tee. But those who have the courage to attack could walk away with the title. Es un campo largo, un muy buen diseño, la verdad que está en excelentes condiciones la cancha. La vez que los jugué yo era invierno, así que bueno, ahora huele un poco más la pelota y es una cancha donde hay que pegar muy bien la salida y hay que estar atento a las posiciones de bandera. The course is unbelievable. It's beautiful. I, I didn't really know what to expect. I really enjoy the practice round. I think it's going to be a really good test because it's really firm. And as 131 players from 18 different countries prepared to step out onto the tee, someone all too familiar with the course came to wish the players a little luck. Bienvenidos, amigos. I'm Robert Trent Jones, Jr., and I designed the Rio Hondo Golf Course, which you are playing this week. I hope that you find it challenging, beautiful, interesting, and fun. And may the best man win. Buena suerte. Meanwhile, before the start of the competition, players Tom Whitney, John Somers, Chet Tutton, and Sebastian Zermak took a lap at the Autodromo Museum with racer Peter Aulas and found out just what it takes to be a professional. That was fun. I mean, the circuit itself is beautiful. Uh, all the boxes, the media room is really cool. The museum is obviously really cool, but the best part was ripping out in that beast and doing two laps. I think I'm still a little shaky, but I don't think I've had more fun uh, the whole season. It was incredible, honestly. I mean, I thought I'd drive fast, but I don't turn that fast. And I thought the car was going to roll a few times, but the grip is just insane. And the way he brakes is so aggressive. And I had a great time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Unbelievable. Words can't describe. It was. The, one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. Um, he said that he was going to go a little easy, but he definitely didn't go easy, and it was amazing. I saw the, the speedometer on there, and it only went up to 200, and it was doing this. So he was moving. It was fun. How was your conversation in there, dude? <sighs> amazing. Holy cow. <laughs> Coming up. Added incentive arises for players during competition week as a Zurich Argentina swing picks back up. Who will crack up under pressure and who will rise to the top? And later, the Termas de Rio Hondo Invitational proves to be the key to breaking one player's dry spell this season. Watch the action unfold when Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica returns.
Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. With the start of the Termas de Rio Hondo Invitational on the horizon, so continues another competition sweeping through Argentina, the Zurich Argentina Swing. And as we reach the halfway point, there are two players who've already secured a place among the leaders. Tom Whitney ranks supreme sitting at the top of the standings thanks to his win at the 88 Abierto Oso del Centro presentado por Fiverr Corp Telecom. It's huge for us having the Zurich Argentina swing with the potential bonus. You know, costs are heavy down here with, with flights and hotels and having someone come in and support us like that with a bonus is huge. Trailing shortly behind Whitney is Colombian Andres Echavarria, who claimed the number two spot after his win at the Molino Cañuelas Championship. Y siempre que lo apoyan a uno con, con algo, con algún incentivo, es, es bastante gratificante y agradecemos. Todos los jugadores agradecemos que Zurich haga eso. The swing brings an added $10,000 incentive, awarded to the top performing player in the Argentine events. With three events left to play, the title is still up for grabs. But Zurich Argentina is not only helping players. They will also be giving back to the next generation of young professionals. With the addition of the 18th hole challenge, for every birdie or eagle made on the 18th hole, Zurich will donate 1,000 Argentine pesos to Fundación Futuros Profesionales Integrar. El año pasado superamos los 300 mil pesos y la verdad que es una suma que nos permite eh, sumar muchas becas para jóvenes profesionales, que es lo que hacemos con la Fundación Integrar. The money will help university students finalize their careers through their personalized scholarship program. Last season was a record-breaking season for donations from Zurich, and this season the bar is set even higher. Currently, 262 birdies and eagles have been tallied, but the swing is not over yet, and those birdies and eagles are just going to keep rolling in. The Rio Hondo Golf Club was buzzing as the Rio Hondo Invitational was in full effect and five players set themselves apart on Sunday. 54-hole leader Camilo Aguado took the stage hoping to keep his lead ahead of the field, but two bogeys would make it difficult. A closing birdie on 18, and he walked home with a T4 finish. Cameron Young also earned a share of fourth after hitting the gas on the weekend. With a birdie at the turn, he kept his momentum going through the back nine. An impressive 67 to close locked down a top spot on the leaderboard for the American. Tied for second was Justin Sa, Coming in with a 69, 67 and 68, the 22-year-old was sitting in good standing for a win. If he could keep the pedal down, he would have found his way to the top. But a bogey fumble on the back nine kept him from a forced playoff. With a birdie on 18, his sub-70 record remained and he closed with a 66. Spaniard Mario Beltran kicked off his round with a bang, carding an eagle on two and kept the ball rolling from there with an additional nine birdies, Beltran claimed his rightful share for second. But one man rose above the rest, Alejandro Tosti. Mi objetivo era darme una chance para los últimos nueve hoyos y bueno, jugué muy bien desde el principio. All the frustrations of a challenging rookie season came down to Sunday. A final round, eight under 64, and Tosti went on to take the lead just one ahead of Mario Beltran and Justin Sa, resulting in a much needed win at the inaugural Termas de Riondo Invitational. Estoy muy feliz por, por haber logrado mi primer victoria como profesional acá en Argentina. Se ha dado todo para que, para que pase y bueno, eh, ahora ir a casa unas horas para, para poder celebrar con mi familia. Tosti's victory moves him 76 spots up the order of merit from 93 to 17. And among the top five, a slight shift occurs. American Shut Tutton moves into the number five spot. Tom Whitney, John Somers, and Evan Harmeling hold on to the fourth, 
third and second spots. And leading the charge is Argentina's own Augusto Núñez. In addition to his win, Alejandro Tosti also fell into contention for the Zurich Argentina swing, moving to number two in the Zurich Argentina swing standings. Tom Whitney remains the overall leader as he holds a $2,165 lead over Tosti. As PGA Tour Latino America closes out another successful week, we take a moment to congratulate one of our own who works behind the scenes as he celebrates a 30-year milestone. It all started back in 1989 when I was working on the Champions Tour. There was talk of uh, starting a new tour. And back then it was the Hogan Tour. And I jumped, jumped all over the opportunity and worked on that tour uh, all the way up until we started this tour eight years ago. It's been a wonderful journey and it's been an absolute pleasure for me to be down here in Latin America. What I really like about this tour is how it's grown. I can remember the first year the quality of play is not nearly as close as what it is right now. And now I'm watching watch on the PGA Tour and, and we got quite a few guys on the leaderboard uh, at the Bermuda Tournament. So hopefully uh, we'll pull off a win this week. Next time on Esto es PGA Tour Latino America, we travel to San Martín de los Andes for the Neuquén Argentina Classic, where reigning champ and Argentina native Clodomiro Carranza attempts to defend his title. After that, it is off to Buenos Aires to crown a champion at the 114 Visa Open de Argentina presentado por Macro, as the Zurich Argentina swing comes to a close and the 2019 champion is crowned. Watch all the action unfold on the next episode of Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica.